turn right here. Oh, oh he's bearing down. Hold on, hold on. I can't get him. Oh! 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 You can literally walk for miles across the desert and never come across a single drop of water. So it's safe to say that the last place you would think to look for aquatic turtles is in the middle of this parched ecosystem. I can smell water. You guys smell that? Oh yeah, it's like the air just cooled off. Wow, it feels great down here. All right, let's move up slow just in case there's any animal like right here. Sometimes it happens. We approach a body of water and all of a sudden, boom, an animal jumps in. It is crystal clear. Not gonna be hard to find animals in this. Um, all right, let's get into it. Today I will be exploring the flowing waters of the Santa Cruz River, which runs like a life-giving vein through Arizona's Sonoran Desert. This water system is home to many different animals, but the one creature I am specifically searching for today is a reptile known as the spiny soft-shell turtle. Wow, this is a pretty cool environment. I've never been in the water before in the desert. Look at this. It is just globs of algae and sand. It's like this magical mix of desert and swampland. This is super cool. All right, well, let's head this way up river. You can see the water is fairly shallow. It's also crystal clear, which means if we see any animals, you should be able to catch them. Now, when I'm looking for turtles in Ohio, I'm used to looking at a mound in the mud and saying, oh, that's a carapace buried down. Same tactic is gonna be used here because at this time of day, spiny soft shells are burrowing in the shallow sand and just sticking their noses up out of the water so that they can breathe. Many different creatures we can come across out here. You guys ready? All right, let's Mario, do it. are you good? All right, let's keep moving. We have tried for many years to get the spiny soft shell turtle in front of the cameras, with unfortunately no success. However, I have a good feeling that today might be our lucky day. Whoa. These trees are like covered in cotton. It's like I'm walking through an entire world of spiders right now. All these webs. Wow, there's spiders all over the trees. Let me see if you guys can see this. Look at that. Covered in spiders. I know this would probably be somebody's worst nightmare. If you had arachnophobia, this is not where you would want to be. You okay? Nailed my knee. Wow, it was fast. Just caught out of the corner of my eye. Missed it though. Not big, only about that big. So they are in the water. Soft shell, though. Man, he was just jetting right down the middle of that. Okay, that's a good sign though. This is the sort of area where they would be laying out in the engagement. So keep your eyes peeled. These turtles are hard to catch, but at least having seen one proves that they live in this river. So we headed further into the wild searching for slower moving water. A lot of times they'll bury up underneath an embankment like this. And that's what I'm looking for. The turtle right here. Oh. Oh, he's bearing down. Hold on, hold on. I can't get him. Got him. Nice. Oh, they're so unbelievably slippery. Woo! I went to the net for a second. I was like, maybe we should better get him with the net. That Feel awesome. how slippery this turtle is. He started burying it down underneath the sand. Yes, there it is. That is a spiny soft shell. That's our turtle. Woo, that Woo. is exactly what we're hoping to find. What about that timing? I mean, literally, as I'm saying, yeah, right up underneath these embankments, sometimes you'll see him bearing down. I just kind of slightly looked up and saw him moving out of the corner of my eye and his shell was literally bearing down into the sand. Great grab. Oh. All right, well, let's get it. Um, let's go over here where I can get my big camera out. Okay. Yes! Ha! Can 
cannot believe we got one. Ah, oh, there it is. That is the spiny softshell turtle. You guys have no idea how long I've been trying to get one of these turtles up close for the cameras. We've tried to do this episode before in Ohio and they have eluded me on every single expedition. And then of course the episode doesn't end up getting released. And sure enough, it's here in a river system in the Sonoran Desert that we finally managed to catch one. Now let's take a good look at the structure of this turtle's body. I'm gonna very carefully Tilt it up like this, Mark, Whoa. and take a look at that carapace. That is something else. Right? It's very streamlined, extremely smooth. You'll notice that it doesn't have typical scutes like most turtle species. Go ahead, put your hand out there and touch the shell of that turtle. Tell me what it feels like. Oh, wow. That feels just like leather. Exactly, right? And it's very pliable. That's what allows these turtles to quickly bury down in the sand and hide up underneath embankments. On top of that, this streamlined body structure allows them to move very, very quickly underwater. I love the feet. Look at those feet. It's like a mix between a foot and a fin. These turtles are perfectly aquatic and very rarely do you see them on land, only out ever to bask and warm up. As we know, they are ectotherms, which means that they need the sun to heat up their body. Oh, I see you looking at my hat there. Don't you bite my nose. Now, I do not want to take a bite from one of these turtles. They have extremely sharp beaks, razor sharp, in fact, and they use that beak to catch and kill their food. Now, what they're looking for out here are small fish, frogs, crayfish, anything that this turtle comes across and can turn into a meal, it's fair game. They are opportunistic predators. Ow, 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 I'm getting clawed up here. Here, let me put him down in the water for a second. Watch this. I'm gonna hold on to the shell really tight. Let's see if you can see those feet in action. There we go, look at that. Oh yeah. Can you see that? So this is a very aquatic turtle. Yes, and they are very, very slippery. Look at that, you see its, see its feet going? And look at that, you see the head sticking up above the water there? They have extremely long necks, and that's what allows them to stay buried down in the sand, and all they have to do is extend that little piggy looking nose up through the water, through the sand, just like that, and they can breathe without even being noticed. That's another reason why they are so incredibly hard to find. Oh, this is kind of cool. Can you see these little spines on the back of the shell there? Yeah, I can. They're like little nodules. That is where they get the name spiny softshell turtle from. Okay, let's look at the underside of the turtle. The plastron. Extremely white. Very white, very, very smooth. Also helps in allowing these turtles to move quickly across the sandy basin of this river. Oh, he's so cool. All right, let's do this. I'm going to set him down gently here and look at the camouflage of this turtle against the sand. Can you see that? Now notice the coloration in the turtle's skin. It's very light, just like the sand, and all these little dark markings help it blend, ooh, he tried to bite me, blend in perfectly to the granules of sand that are on the basin of the river. Look at that, look at his head, just up above the water there, and boop, just like that it goes down, and then the turtle can quickly make a run for it. I got you, come here, we're gonna hang out just a little bit longer. Wow, this has got to be the coolest feeling turtle I have ever held. It is so slimy. Oh, he's so cool. I can't believe we caught one. He's clawing up my hand pretty good too. Well, how cool is this? Finally catching a spiny softshell turtle and of all places here in the Sonoran Desert. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, let's get him back into the river. Watch how fast he takes off. Exploring the Santa Cruz River was an adventure, unlike any we have embarked upon in the Sonoran Desert, and was truly one for the memory books. The spiny softshell is technically a non-native reptile to the Sonoran Desert. However, over the past quarter century, they've established a strong breeding population and are now considered by most to be a permanent resident. This is definitely one creature that everyone out there watching has been asking to see. So I'm glad we could finally get the coyote pack up close with the spiny softshell turtle. If you thought the spiny softshell was a unique looking turtle, make sure to go back and watch the episode where I got face to face with the enormous Galapagos tortoise. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Dragon Tales.